so I stopped going to the gym completely now I mean my dad still thought that I went to the gym but now instead of going to the gym I would go straight to my friend's house after school and we're gonna call my friend Jake the same one who gave me the phone but I would go over there we would smoke and we would drink and then before my dad came and get me I would get dropped to back off at the gym and then I would get home and go straight to sleep and not wake up until the next morning for school. So now she had absolutely no reason in the world to argue with me unless I didn't do my chores right or she made up some other fucking ridiculous excuse to get me in trouble. But I would post videos and pictures of my friends and I smoking and drinking and being places we shouldn't be on my Finsta. And for Halloween that year, I went over to Jake's house with a few of my friends, which of course my mom didn't want me to go, but my my dad said that it was fine I just had to be home at a certain time you know and my best friend and I's parents were super strict so Jake's parents went out and bought candy for us to put into our bags to make it look like we actually went out trick-or-treating like I literally love my friends anyways so I had posted some stuff on my finsta from that night and I got home everything was fine they were a little sus because they were like why do you have like all of the same candy and I was like I don't fucking know anyways so a week later <sighs> My mom is flipping the fuck out on me because she had saw the videos and pictures and everything that was on my Finsta. And I honestly can't remember whether she told me that she went through my sister's phone and saw that stuff or I had left my Instagram logged into the iPad that everyone has access to. And I knew that she lied about going through my sister's phone because she never went through her phone. She never had a reason to. If anything, my sister probably showed her what was on my fucking account. And here's my thing too. If you were really going through her phone, how the fuck do you still manage to make everything about me? You're going through her phone, yet it all comes back around to me. I felt like a celebrity in that house like they should have been putting a red carpet down whenever i walked out of my fucking room anyways and also i'm not fucking dumb enough to even log into my social media accounts on an ipad that is shared with everyone anyway so then they're all saying you have a drinking problem blah 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 and then i tell them you guys make me want to unalive myself so then they threaten to put me into a mental hospital it's comical at this point it really is. So my dad ends up saying that he can't handle the fighting anymore. You know, he's apparently done with it. So I ended up moving in with my aunt for a while. And whenever I packed all of my things to leave, she must have went through the stuff that I had packed and took shit out because I was missing my homecoming dress that I bought from my freshman year of high school. And I was also missing a few other things that I bought. And when I asked my sister if she knew what happened to the stuff or where it was, her response was, oh, mom sold that stuff of course she did so fast forward i was talking to this one guy right and i wasn't sure if i liked him he would buy me jewel pods anyways so he just so happened to be best friends with my mom's best friend's kid at aka the hoe that i hate her children yeah so anyways he would buy me jewel pods like i said and eventually uh, i'm not gonna lie i ended up using him for jewel pods because he was 18 i was 16 he would bring them to my aunt's house and give them to me and listen i was only 16 so yes i realize now that i was a dick but i was young and dumb so after we stopped talking he went around and told everybody that we did the nasty which was not true he was just really upset because i used him for pods and he didn't get anything in return but then word got around to everyone including my mom well her best friend found out about it first and then her best friend told her yeah and my sister and i were on the phone one day and she's like yeah he's going around saying that um you guys slept together and i was like how do you know and she was like well because mom's best friend told us and i was like oh what did mom say about it even though i already knew what she said i to be honest i shouldn't even have asked i knew what the answer was gonna be and she said she pretty much said that she's not surprised and then she pretty much also called you a whore sounds about right like i said to be honest i wasn't even surprised Surprised because whenever I was like seven years old right I was getting ready to go over to my grandma's house with my sister and I had a tank top on and it wasn't a spaghetti strap tank top you know low cut or anything it was a three three finger wide strap length 
and the neck came up to here. But anyways, I come down the stairs and she either said, why are you dressed like a whore or you're not going over to your grandma's dressed like a slut. One of those two. Like anything bad that she hears about me, she will believe. You don't even gotta give any other information. If you tell her, oh, she has an OnlyFans, she'll be like, yeah, I saw that coming. And then she'll go and gossip about it to other people. She'll tell everybody else. Anyway, so I had started talking to my sister a little bit more because I thought that she was over the whole, I'm gonna tell my parents everything phase, but clearly I was wrong. I had pretty much told her that I had a boyfriend and that I got on birth control because we were sexually active so what does my sister do she tells my mom and then after that and after that my mom calls my aunt and she's like she's having unprotected sex she's doing this and that how would you know were you there you fucking creep like were you looking through the window while i was doing it with my boyfriend anyways but yeah she's saying all that stuff to my aunt and my aunt she could give two shits less because she knew exactly how she was so she just hung up the phone on her and she blocked her she didn't have time for her, my mom's bullshit like she manages to cause problems in my life when i don't even live with her anymore and I haven't even talked to her in months. Someone tell Siri to play Obsessed by Mariah Carey. Anyway, so eventually I moved back in with my dad and we made a deal that I only have to listen to him. As long as I didn't start any problems with my mom. So pretty much I could go to my boyfriend's whenever I wanted. I just had to be home on school nights at 9 o'clock. And now this was hilarious as fuck because I never would ask her permission to do anything. I would literally, if I went home for like two seconds after school, I'm pretty sure she thought that I was like staying home after school. No, I literally would leave. I'd get picked up and I would leave. And the one day she texts me and she's like, get your ass home, you're grounded. Okay, we'll see about that one. Sure I am. And whenever I got home, she was making a big deal because I didn't come home. She was like, I told you that you were grounded. And I was like, Okay. So later I talked to my dad whenever I got home and he was like, don't worry, I'll talk to her. So he talks to her and she is making a big stink because she's like, this is why she's disrespectful to me. This is why she feels like she doesn't have to listen to anything I say. You let her get away with murder, this, that, and the next. Now I am getting away with murder. And I think it's well deserved for myself. So I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back for that. Anyways, and then my dad pretty much goes off and he's like, why are you causing problems? He was like, you said she could move back in if she wasn't gonna cause problems in the house. And you're the one starting the fucking problems. She hasn't done anything. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, period, because it's always been her starting the issues. It was never me in the first place. So during the summertime, I pretty much spent every single fucking day with my boyfriend, right? And then my boyfriend's mom gets a call from the one and only my mother. I can't remember exactly how it happened, but all I know is that she pretty much called my boyfriend's mom telling her that I was a liar and I was manipulative and I was oh so terrible pretty much to try and get her to hate me just like she had tried to do with my aunt like she just hated the fact that there were adults out there that thought that i was a good kid like she couldn't stand it so anyways now i'm thinking that my relationship with my boyfriend's mom is ruined and my boyfriend's mom was like so what if you lie you're a teenager teenagers are gonna lie i don't care so i'm like eh, period you lost bitch and the last thing that happened before i was pretty much kicked out kicked out hmm. um so it was during the summertime, so I was staying at my boyfriend's house every fucking night, right? And it's my aunt's birthday dinner, so I go to pick my sister up. So I pull into the neighborhood, I turn my music down, I pull in front of the house, I'm waiting for her outside. And then my mom comes out and she's like, you need to turn the music down, we're gonna get a noise complaint. So I turn it down and she's like, no, turn it off. And I tell her no. Well, once again, she can't control her emotions. So what does she do? She smacks me across the face. And then I pretty much told her that I was gonna call the cops. So she runs inside the house and she texts me saying, it's not illegal to hit your kid. But I guess she forgot that I'm like no longer her kid because she signed over her rights to my aunt. So my aunt's technically my legal guardian. So then I texted her saying, you're not my mother. And then who knows what the fuck she told my dad because I pretty sure I got a text from my dad that said something along the lines of, you're not welcome in this house so fast forward a couple of years i have the best relationship with my dad we've always had a good relationship in all honesty it was mostly her who tried to drive a wedge in between my dad and i and i have a relationship with her too i wouldn't say that it's like you know we're best friends or anything like that definitely nowhere near as good as my dad and i's relationship but in all honesty i just think that we were too close in age for her to be trying to raise me one thing i will say though is i forgive her for the things that she's done but i will never forget them